Welcome back. An executive condominium unit has sold for a record $2.05 million at the final EC launch of the year. And we're told the buyers of the penthouse flat at City Life at Tempanies are a young couple. And they sealed the deal about an hour into the launch. And they intend to live in the large apartment with their parents and siblings. One mega penthouse, one mega price. At over $2 million, it's the most expensive EC unit sold to date. The size of the penthouse is about 4,350 square feet and can house up to four families under one roof. The average price of other EC units in this project is about $770 per square foot. And some buyers agree. If there's a demand, there's always a supply. Predict what will happen. Yeah. Yeah. If the location is good, I think um, the buyers will be willing to pay the price. The market price right now, at, looking at this time, yes, it is a, it's quite a, a good buy actually. The record price tag has fanned concerns of soaring EC prices and sparked talk of possible government intervention to cool the market. One concern is that ECs may not be affordable for the sandwiched class or Singaporeans whose incomes are too high to qualify for housing bought flats but are too stretched to buy private property. I'd be afraid the next generation, they cannot afford to buy houses because the housing price right now is rising so high, even though EC. So do you think that all the young, youngsters can buy? They cannot afford. I think if you take a look at the development as a whole, uh, the majority of the units are actually below one million. Um, and really largely three bedroom. So it's just a small number of units, premium units that we have developed. Um, they're quite rare, quite valuable, and as you can see, people want these. So it's really a supply and demand. If the sandwich class wants it, of course it's developers, we provide that product. Developers say they see the trend moving towards ECs of higher quality. And while they try to cater to the needs of all buyers, they say at the end of the day, it's still about catering to the sandwiched class. And by about 8 p.m., about 65% of the units at City Life at Tempanese had been sold. And the developer says it received 1,800 applications for the 514 units.